Next example, a continuous center variable. So given here is cumulative distribution function and cursor. So find your missing value here. What is your A? E, what is your B? So as we know, if we're getting cumulative distribution function and cursor, they will be a graph here, starting by the Gaussian. Then we have a long code from the area, area, sampai maximum dia, satu. So for cumulative distribution function and cursor, they will be a graph dia akan bersambungan bersambungan daripada kosong then up to 1 so in order to get value A and B so we can use back the continuous concept alright so we draw up the interval first as you know 2 before 2 this interval is 0 2 to 4 this interval is AX minus 1 over 10 then 4 to 13 this is X over 10 plus B more than 30, maximum probability up to 1. So in order to find this A and B, we notice that it's supposed to be continuous means for question A, when X equals to 2, which is this interval, left hand side must be equal to right hand side. So 0 must be equal to A X minus 10. So your x here will be your 2. So in other words, means x2 is 0. From the beginning here. So x2 here, suppose equals to 0. So 0 suppose equals to this function. So once you substitute your x, so you can simplify 2a will be equal to 1 over 10. So a will be 1 over 20. Meanwhile, for another interval that we can use will be here. Means from here, F, 13, suppose maximum can reach 1. So therefore, when X equals to 13, this left hand side can be equal to the right hand side. So 13 over 10, which is X over 10, plus B, suppose equals to 1. Simplify this. So finally, we can read out our cumulative distribution function. So substitute back our A and B here. Where A is 1 over 20. B is negative 3 over 10. For question B, they ask that to find probability density function naturally equity. So naturally equity, it is going to differentiate satu per satu daripada F besar ini. So for B, for X less than 2, to find its probability density function, we differentiate respect to X for 0. So differentiate constant, 0. Continue for the next interval. Differentiate respect to x for 1 over 20x minus 1 over 10. So differentiate 1 over 20x, kita dapat 1 over 20. Differentiate constant, kita dapat kosong. Next interval, between x, uh, between 4 and 13. So, F30 sama dengan different shape for X over 10 minus 3 over 10. So, different shape 1 per 10X 
dapat 1 per 10 differentiate constant dapat kosong lastly we are going differentiate respect to x for 1 differentiate constant 0 so we write the answer in function probability density function you will have one of the answer 1 over 20 for interval in between 2 4 and then 1 over 10 for interval 4 in between 4 and 13 lastly 0 for otherwise Then for question C, we want to find the probability in between 3 and 6. So for this probability, you have two options. You can use your F kecil ataupun you nak guna F besar pun boleh. So kalau, kalau you guna F kecil, maka you kena cari area. So you kena integrate. Kalau kamu guna F besar, you cuma melongkokkan area dia. So, I will prefer use F besar senang sikit. So you want the in, you want to find the probability in between three and six means I can accumulate up to six minus accumulate three. Equal not equal doesn't matter for continuous random variable. Alright, so I choose function F besar. So F six six is in the this in the word. So formula here will be x over 10 minus 3 over 10. So it will be 6 over 10 minus 3 over 10 minus f3. 3 will be 4 in this interval. So this formula will be 3 over 20 minus 1 over 10. 